Um, okay, so I know everyone was talking about Miss USA, Donald Trump, and all of his comments. Now, you're an immigrant yourself, correct? Yeah. So what were your thoughts on his, his, you know, comments about immigrants and the Miss USA pageant in general? Actually, it was shocking at first because, you know, even my reign, I was the first Arab, first Lebanese, first Muslim to win Miss USA. And Miss Universe was from Mexico, Jimena. Um, we were both kind of shocked. Um, we felt that maybe he uh, didn't uh, mean it the way it came out. Um, of course, we are a different, I, I like to emphasize the fact that Miss Universe organization is its own entity. And um, it's kind of like getting allowance from someone to help build something. So what we represent as women, as a sisterhood, we're definitely not on the same page as Mr. Trump. But then again, it's free speech. He's allowed to have his own comments. Do you feel like NBC was right, standing by their decision to pull the show? I'm upset about that because if you read uh, below our name, it says uh, Donald Trump and NBC uh, funded organization. Um, I think I was uh, upset because um, they're forgetting that all these girls who are signed up for a scholarship, who are been paying it forward with organizations, we needed that support from NBC and they did it so quickly. Um, but we're thankful for Reels Channel. Yeah. Um, do you think, what kind of effect will this have on future pageants or even Miss Universe as well? It's uh, sad to say we've already lost Miss Uni uh, Mexico and Miss Panama. Uh, I, feel, I believe we keep hearing more news of people dropping out. Um, I really wanted, and that's why I judge Miss USA, all of us girls are being united. We're doing a lot of things in LA since we all live here to kind of show them that we're different. Maybe a reality show can help us out here, you know, because we are our own, you know, entity. And to be losing all these wonderful countries, it's a shame because that's what really gets people going. I mean, you have presidents, you have politicians, but then when you see a beauty queen that makes a country look beautiful and, you know, has a great message, it's do you think that this this whole situation, if any good could come out of it, do you think that maybe it would start to show the shift of maybe moving out of the pageant world and more into, I don't know, showcasing powerful women in a different way? For myself, I definitely am doing that. That's why I'm actually completing my autobiography now. I want to show people how much, well, how much this organization and the pageant did for me, but who I really am and what these girls really stand for. I feel like I'm, a, I'm the face of a lot of them. Perez Hilton himself, he knows of all the issues I went through. Um, but thankfully, uh, all of that has only taught me lessons and make me fearless. And, you know, I really want to pay it forward and show women that we can definitely do it, you know. Just because someone is helping fund a pageant doesn't mean that they're exactly who we are. Now, do you expect an apology from Donald Trump? Like, what would make this whole thing all better? I don't know if an apology is going to be helpful for these countries and the people watching. Um, I think that what we need to do is kind of separate from Mr. Trump and kind of show everyone what Miss Universe and Miss USA is really about.